Hi, my name is Justine. Um, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I am studying neuroscience. Um, and this is the, the first year that the dual BA um, is actually, they introduce neuroscience. Um, so as a first year student, I'm here to give you some tips and tricks for applying to the neuroscience major as part of the dual BA. Okay, so what is the neuroscience program? And, and a lot of people have been asking me, like, what is the specific content that's involved? And really, um, from what I've been studying right now um, at Trinity, um, you start at a very general um, biological and biomedical sciences. And then once you like work your way up in the program, it becomes a lot more specialized to the point where you're studying things a lot more specific to neuroscience. Um, so the Columbia Dual BA website kind of talks about this more, but you learn a lot of foundational skills in chemistry, biology, math, statistics, computation um, in your first year. Um, it becomes a little bit more challenging your second year and third and fourth year at Columbia, as I said, is a lot more specialized. Um, yeah, um, as for the courses I'm taking right now um, that we're almost done with um, in the first semester, um, I'm taking a biology class. Um, it's called, or a biology module, I, I, I mean, um, it's called From Molecules to Cells. So it's a lot like AP Biology, if you've taken that. Um, I'm also taking a chemistry module. It's called From Chem Chemistry for Biologists. Chemistry for Biologists. Um, and that's actually a lot like AP Chem. Um, and it involves like organic chemistry, basic chemistry, thermodynamics, stuff like that. Um, the third module I'm taking is a psychology class. It's called Foundations of Psychology. It's a lot like AP Psychology. Again, if you've taken that for any American students. And the last course that I'm taking this semester is um, a social policy class. Um, so that is to fulfill the Columbia Core curriculum, um, which requires like some kind of humanities and stuff like that, if you've, if you've kind of looked into that part. And I did really like when I applied to the Stool BA program that um, we're not just studying the sciences. I really liked that it actually incorporated a lot of the humanities too, because I personally, I, I kind of like to delve into a lot of different subjects, like not just the sciences, even though I, I kind of wanted to focus on the sciences. I also wanted to, to look at some humanities courses as well. So this program kind of allowed me to do that. Um, and just an important note too, um, if you're looking to like go to medical school after this, this program might not be for you. Um, it's really, this degree is really for research. Like they even say in the website, like please note students interested in neuroscience should be advised that this program is primarily research focused and not designed to fulfill necessarily necessary undergraduate requirements for admission to U.S. medical schools. So just keep that in mind. Um, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to pursue a medical degree if that is what you're looking for. And just to clarify, um, the degrees that you're getting would be from the Trinity side, biological and biomedical sciences. So a, kind of a more general biology degree. And then at Columbia, um, you're getting a neuroscience and behavior degree. So like I said, it kind of starts from more general biology at Trinity and it specializes more into neuroscience once you get to Columbia. Okay, so as for specific admissions requirements, um, I know the biggest thing I had to worry about um, when I applied was the thousand word essay. Um, like the personal statement. Um, I don't know if they've, they've changed the word count on that or something like that, but um, yeah. So in that essay, really pour your heart into it, you know, try and like portray a lot of passion in the essay. Like I know that can sometimes be difficult um, in the sciences, but really do try to 
to tell a story with it, you know, like say how you got into neuroscience. Maybe um, it was something where you were volunteering at a local hospital and you've seen how far we still have to go with neuroscience or something like that. I talked about how my mom got MS and that really kind of drove me to pursue neuroscience so that I could help people like my mom, something like that. Really just don't make it just about yourself and what you can get from the program. Really kind of think about how you can contribute to the world and how this international opportunity, like this global opportunity really that you have with the dual BA going to two different parts of the world, what this will give to you and what this will allow you to do to make a difference. Um, yeah, and I know um, this is from the website as well, but it says you require at least two of biology, chemistry, comp sci, geography, mathematics, physics, geology, applied maths, or ag sci. So that that's kind of like for APs or leaving cert standards, if you're looking for that. Um, as for SAT scores, you don't need to have it like astronomically high. Like you don't need a 1600 on the SATs, but like probably like above a 1400. I'm pretty sure mine was like, yeah, I think it was above a 1400 for my SAT score. So just do your best on it. I'm sure this year with COVID and everything, it, it, it might not be as necessary to have like a, a super good SAT score, but just keep that in mind. I think they consider it, but they don't make it like the top priority. Like you have to have above this for the SAT score, you know? So I wouldn't worry too much about that if you're worried about that. Um, and I think besides that, um, as for other test scores, APs are always really good to include in your application. Like I know I took AP Bio, AP Psych, and AP Lang my, my junior year in high school. So my second to last year of secondary school for any European students watching. Um, and I know those AP scores, I did pretty well on those and those really helped my application as well. So just add in anything that you think would help any past experience, volunteering experience, um, whether it be in research, volunteering at local hospitals, something like that. Definitely include that if you have those. Just add in anything from the Common App, anything that you think would help your application. Definitely add those in. And anything to portray that you're involved in a lot of different things and that you want to pursue a, a varied education, really. You know, like not just in the sciences, but also learning how to become a global citizen. Um, so you're going to be delving into humanities classes as well. Not not as much as the sciences, of course, but like at a reasonable depth. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're applying and consider whether or not that's that's really what you're looking for. Okay, so as for the application overview, I did kind of talk a lot about this already. Um, but really the impression I got was that, um, they are looking for students that have, like, they're not just into the sciences. They're into people who can deal with a lot of different academic disciplines, not just like, like math science, you know, you just know how to communicate. <laughs> um, knowing how to communicate, that's also really uh, important in the sciences as well as humanities courses. So just keep that in mind. Um, show that you are more than just a thousand words in an essay. You know, be able to, to show that you care about neuroscience, especially if you get asked to interview. Really think about ways that you can contribute to the college. Um, one of the specific questions they asked me in my interview was actually like, keep in mind that Trinity is just as much humanities as it is sciences. So they actually asked me like, am I willing to take humanities courses as well as science courses? And I said, yeah, of course I am. I, 
like I, I've taken this, this, and this, and I'm really interested in it. So just keep that in mind um, when you're applying. And as for ways I thought my application stood out, um, so just like for your own reference, um, I really kind of just tried to put passion into my application and into my interview. Like I already said, I talked about my mom, I talked about um, really kind of projects that I was really passionate about in high school, whether it be like, even if it's something really small, like a group project you did in your AP biology class or something like that, or some, some wild um, proposition you made about, about something in, in bio or chemistry or something like that, just make it, make it fun. Show that you're interested in what you're doing, you know, and that will show through, um, in your essay and in your interview if you really are passionate about it. So I would say like, just do your best with it. Really try and show as much emotion and passion in your essay as you can. Okay, so you will find out whether or not you are offered the chance to interview by I think I was notified by like February or something. I remembered I was actually um, on a trip to Florida with my family and I was so stressed. <laughs> um, I thought I didn't get the invitation to interview and then it, it popped up in my inbox and I was so excited. So if you get offered the chance to interview, expect um, to sign up for a time slot. Um, I'm not sure if um, the interviews this year are going to be in person, but I did my interview in person, which made it really scary. <laughs> but just know that you don't have to be scared to go into the interviews. Um, I actually didn't realize this, but you have a very high likelihood to get into the program if you're asked to interview. Obviously, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do your best because you totally should and you sh totally should treat it extremely seriously, but just know that you don't need to get super, super nervous for it. Like really put all of your energy into getting into the zone with it and really showing them that you are the person that you were showing yourself to be in the application. You know, that's really what the interview is for. It's to, it's to see if you are actually the person that you say you are, you know. So really just do as much preparation as you can. Um, obviously, for me, they ask the basics like, why neuroscience? Why did you get into it? Um, and really, that is a lot of the things you talk about in your essay. Um, talking about maybe specific projects you've done in high school. I know they asked me, it was a weird question, like if, if there was a class you would need to take or you would want to take in the Tool BA program, what would it be? Um, so just thinking about that. Um, yeah, I already said they were asking about um, kind of like the humanities side as well, or, or I should more, say more like the liberal arts. They actually, they asked about the Columbia core curriculum, um, what you really like about that. So definitely do your research on the core. Um, so just, you know, it's honestly, if you've done your research on the program and you've put a lot of work into the application, you shouldn't have a problem with the interview. It should be, it should be fine. So yeah. So as for tips, um, I would say do a lot of preparation, definitely. Um, dress really well. I don't know. I put a lot of work into, into dressing the part just to show them that you care. Um, have a good night's sleep. Obviously, if you are doing it in person, I don't know if they're doing it in person this year, um, but I kind of stayed overnight in New York, if you can do that, if if not, that's totally fine. But like, I kind of just stayed and actually the night before I walked around the Columbia campus just to get some nerves out of the way, you know. Um, but if not, if it's a virtual interview, just like do something to, to let the steam off <laughs> before you do the interview, you know. Um, but just know, 
it's not the end of the world if if something happens if if you think you screwed up during the interview it's probably not that as big of a deal as you're thinking it to be okay so good luck with the interview if you get it okay so this last part is why i chose the dual ba so for me specifically um this program was everything i was looking for i kind of knew i've always known that i wanted to travel and what better time to do it than right when i got out of high school so i was i was so happy that like i found something that gave me an international experience as well as an american college experience because i didn't want to completely give up the American college experience, and I didn't want to completely dive into a European education. So I really liked that it balanced the two. That was that was my biggest thing. And also, obviously, um, neuroscience is a big passion of mine. Um, it always has been um, since my mom's been diagnosed. Um, it's always been of a big deal especially with neuroscience being such an up-and-coming field there's still so much that we don't know about the field of neuroscience like we're we're still in the pretty basic phases of figuring out how the human brain works so it's just so exciting to be a part of such a new up-and-coming field um and also too i was gonna say one more thing um oh and also the liberal arts aspect as well so I personally, um, even though neuroscience is definitely my passion, I'm also interested in a lot of different academic subjects, not just science and math. You know, I'm into history and, and literature as well. I took AP Lit my senior year and I really got into that. So I'm really, I was really happy that the Columbia Court curriculum allowed you to kind of delve into subjects outside of the major you're getting, you know? So if you think that that's for you, that's definitely what drew, drew me into the, the neuroscience fields, um, the neuroscience program, I mean. Um, so yeah, and there's also gonna be admissions resources linked down below. And feel free to comment on this video if you have any questions and I'll be sure to respond and like and subscribe. <laughs> I like those YouTubers too. So yeah, no, thank you so much for watching. Um, hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions. I'm sure Caitlin will will put it in the, in the bio. Um, I'm always available. Um, but yeah, good luck with admissions and the interview if you are offered one. And hope to see you next year in the Jewel BA. Bye.